Hector Bellerin, welcome to the show. It's lovely to have you. I've, do you know what? I've wanted to interview you for ages. Really? Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you ask? Well, because it's not that easy. Everyone oh, okay. wants to interview you. Right. We ask, but we don't always get yeah. it. But we have today. I mean, it's I been did, worth man. the wait. I did Thank actually, you. this is a true story, right? Last year, I did a show for the World Cup called Barbershop Ballers. Yep. I sent Hector Sorry. a DM. Uh, he, he didn't reply. Snubbed you. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I took it to heart. I have to it's say, bro, don't good. take it personal, man. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even reply to like my friends and stuff. But, you know, I'm well, busy working. You have got some quite important things to be thinking about. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, like recovery from this injury. Yeah. How close are we to seeing you? I think um, about a few weeks from training with the team. I've wow. been training outside now, but no contact. Knee's responding really well, so hopefully we're going to take it to the next step soon. And then, I don't know, hopefully in the next two months I'll be, I'll be back with the team, playing, obviously up to the coach, but I'll be ready to, to play. What do they say, like a new signing? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm feeling like that. I'm feeling like that. I have to say the injury, you know, people say like it's always like a very tough process and it is. But for me, I've had the chance to do loads of things that I couldn't do in the past like five, six years. You know, football's like a bubble. You're yeah. playing every three days. You don't have time to enjoy other things that other people do. And I've had the chance to do that. And, you know, I feel like a new man. You've done your video blogs, yeah. you're very open, you've yeah. done good interviews, you're very expressive with your dress sense, with your yeah. tattoos, with your jewellery. Um, are you conscious of the respect you've garnered in the outside world? People are really looking at you as a bit of a, bit of a game changer in a way. I don't know, that's a heavy title to hold, <laughs> but for me it's always been, I feel like when I started using social media and people started... Uh, you know, talking about me and stuff. I used to take it a lot to heart. And then I realized that um, I was living more their life rather than I was living mine. And I said, you know what, um, let me just do me, whatever I want to do. If I like clothes, I like clothes. If I like doing this, I'm going to do it. And I feel like at the beginning, people weren't really respecting it or weren't really up for it. But then they realized that as much hate as I can get, as much like <laughs> people complaining, I'm gonna still gonna do me. So now it's more like people are gonna be like, it doesn't matter what we say, he's just gonna be himself. So I think like that's gonna be that way. And you know, for me, I always say like, just cause you play football doesn't mean you can do nothing else. You know, people that have the nine to fives, they get home, they do their hobbies, they do whatever they, they feel like. And sometimes we feel cause we play football, we should just do that and go home and start training again. And I don't think that is, that is real so i'm just trying to i don't know probably portray ourselves as like the humans that we really are and that we have other things that we like and just because some people don't feel it's right to do that doesn't mean it's how it is but, but that's what people love about you you know to be fair you know the fact that you um david's already mentioned it the whole fashion side of things mm -hmm. but also um you're you're talking about um pla getting rid of plastic and stuff yeah. like that you've got on board with that yeah. mm -hmm. um veganism you're, yeah. you're, on, you're on board with that completely um and you know in this day and age where, where a lot of people are more conscious about stuff yeah. like that, do you find yourself um, getting a lot more young fans and young people interested in what you're doing? And is that something that you're loving because it's something you care about deeply? Uh, it, is, it is something that well, I've grown up and I've seen like how people react to certain things that I say or that I do. It's something that uh, being able to influence people is something that has really touched me and that's something that I've, it's made me feel more empowered and it's making me feel that what I'm doing somehow can be a good thing you know like playing football obviously you can have people looking up to you but it's nice when you have people looking up to you not just for the football but just how by the things you say about the things you act I remember last year I received 400 letters of a school in North London talking about thanking me for talking about uh, getting rid of plastic and saying oh you should you should tell uh, the boss to make um, Arsenal shirts with plastic bottles, as if it was that easy and stuff like this. But it's great that, you know, in schools, uh, the kids are learning about all these things. And, you know, you, you feel proud that, you know, that message, that's the one they got. And now when they grow up, hopefully, and like the new generation are going to be more conscious about it. And we all know how the planet is right now. And we know, like, when I feel some responsibility having the platform that I have to kind of use it in a good way. Like, it's nice to show what we have, our cars, our watches and all this stuff, but it's also good to send, like, a positive message yeah. to people that can be more meaningful than That's just fascinating. Look how cool we are, yeah. you know? Yeah. Are you disturbed by a lot of the things you see in society now? The plastic, the crime, young people are growing up in a, in a different world, it seems. I think, I think 
if you have a bit of human in you, you should be disturbed by it. I think um, sometimes the media and the things that we see don't portray things as they are. Mm. And sometimes they make it bigger than they are because they want to scare us and all these things. Yeah. But just when you, see, uh, the, when you look at the scientific facts and everything that's going on, I think we should be scared. And not just for us, because we're only going to be on Earth for the next 50, 60 years. But what about if we had kids? What about of, uh, the kids of our kids? If, if that even happens, because we don't know how it's even going to end up. So, I don't know. I think just, um, you know, a lot of the stuff that's going on, people just do it for the money because, they, you know, we're, we're killing so many forests because we want more money. Because, it, But if there's no earth, there's no money to spend, yeah. you know? So I feel like it's going to get to a point where people are going to be like, yo, we've had enough. We need to, like, revert back into, like, what we were doing before or not. I don't know what way it's going to go, but I think, like, us as humans, we have, like, a duty to kind of you know, just leave things as we found them, yeah. you know, and make sure we can live in the best environment possible. Well, that's what he does, he scores goals. And um, to announce right. yourself on your first full season in a division as tough as the Premier League with that number of goals was serious business for a club as big as Arsenal as well. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that was a tough season and... Uh, yeah, but as I say, I'm, I'm really happy, but uh, now I'm focused on the new season and uh, I'll try to, to get more goals. You actually scored more goals than you had more hair, than you had hair designs last season, which is pretty impressive because yeah. yeah. you changed your hair a lot. <laughs> yeah, I changed, <laughs> I changed hair a lot, that's you, true. <laughs> you're speaking of the new season then and, and wanting yeah. to score goals, yeah. but are we going to see the goals spread more evenly this season? Because obviously we've got yourself, we've got y y your bro Alex Lacazette, yeah, but we've now got Nicola Pepe as well. Yeah, so... We'll score a lot of goals, I'm sure. I'm yeah, sure of that. <laughs> there's a bigger question. Yeah. If he has his handshake celebration with Lacazette, <laughs> what's oh. he going to do with Nicola Pepe? No worries, we will find something. Have you been working no on something? Or? No, no, no. But uh, you know, that's all about feeling in the pitch. So first time we did uh, this handshake with Laka, we, we just did it like, it's okay, we do it. Just, and just it like that. Easy. And... Uh, so we will see. Maybe we have to work because three three guys <laughs> it's a bit tough to, to celebrate with three guys and do the same celebration. But we will try. Uh, yeah. So away from football then, you know, say like today you're going to leave here. What what, what are you going to do? What do you like doing? Easy. I go home. I uh, first of all I take my car. I you drive. love your cars. Yeah, I love cars. So that's why I enjoy the time in the car. I put the the music loud. Which which music? Uh, I don't know. Uh, in this moment, I like to, to, to hear some reggaeton. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's summer, so... What, like Bad Bunny? Summer, yeah, Bad Bunny is okay. so good. You like Bad Bunny, Orny? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but you're with a top DJ who does. Yeah, yeah. This is, I'm starting to blush a bit now. Yeah, but I go home and uh, yeah, just chilling with my kids. I think now uh, I will be focused on uh, make training to, 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 my, to my kid. He's seven years old. And uh, I want to teach him how to to play good football. Really? Yeah. yeah. So you want to take you want to take your kid yeah, down that yeah. route? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Bamiyong Mark Two. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Bamiyong the agent is what he's thinking. <laughs> yeah. When he's retired. Why not? <laughs> I'm not sure the world's ready for two of them. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're not. They're not ready, and I'm sure they're not ready. But we will. We will do it. <laughs> how do you? Uh, assess this season coming because last season finished on such a low point mm. missing out on the top four and then the Europa League final but there seems to have been a positive lift around the club with a number of signings coming in and then we're now on the eve of the new season uh, yeah everyone last year at the end of the uh, at the end of the season like the whole team was excited you know because we we missed few games to play like it was four or five games to go and uh, we had the opportunity to go to the top four Unfortunately, we couldn't reach, but uh, until the last moment, we, we would believe, we would think that we still can do it, we still can do it. It was a bit like uh, disappointing, but it's football, you know, if you will know you're going to finish in the top four, wouldn't be so interesting. And then we had another chance as well in the Europe League final. If we, if we could have won against Chelsea, it would be in Champions League uh, spot, but unfortunately we didn't. So, um, of course, after last year, this year, it seems like 
a new energy in the team, you know, with the new signings. We're very happy. We're looking forward for the new season, and I hope they can help us to achieve our goals. Well, we will see. There is a long, long uh, season to go, so we'll see. <laughs> Well, it's a new season, you've already mentioned, a new kit as well. Yep. Uh, and we, ha we haven't even planned this, the, the, the red the micro, uh, yeah. microphone. Yeah, Yes, we have. Don't <laughs> say. Uh, Coordinated. What's your favourite, the yellow or the red? Well, I'm going to go for the yellow because uh, it's a rare colour, you know. Not, all, not every team is playing with a yellow uh, colour T-shirt. But uh, I like more the, the red as well because it's really associated with Arsenal. But I like both because they are both ours. <laughs> are, are both colours in the flag of Armenia as well? I think so. Uh, well, it's orange and uh, red. Nearly. Close enough. Uh, close Cl enough. Close yeah. enough. <laughs> and you've got the orange mic, so it's a done deal. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we have the, the colour of Armenia. We have the flag of Armenia. We actually <laughs> between our mic. Again, this was completely planned. It wasn't. It wasn't completely planned at all. Um, I also read that growing up, you modelled yourself, or you really looked up to Zinedine Zidane. Is that? Yeah, that it's correct? true. Yeah. Um, what aspects of his game do you think you bring to this Arsenal team then? Uh, I didn't try to copy him. I've liked the way he played, you know. He was uh, an artist on the football pitch, you know. Looking at him, I think everyone would say, wow. Yeah. Even the players that they were playing against him, they would go, wow, he's like incredible. The way he was playing with cold head, you know, like doing what, what uh, he has to do, it, it made me feel like this guy is, is a genius. I didn't try to copy anything, but I've tried to learn something good, like his vision, you know, his, uh, the way he, he's cool at the game, you know. Well, we're different players because uh, he has different qualities, I have different qualities. I'm not playing the, the position he plays, but again, uh, you know, you learn from those kind of players uh, many, many good things, and I think uh, I did a lot. Callum Chambers, hello. Hello, hello. Lovely to have you here. And firstly, it's lovely to see you in the Arsenal kit as well. It's nice. It's a nice kit. Really enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, looks all right, doesn't it? Well, I'm also meant that because obviously we've seen you go out on loan the past couple of years. And, and you know, I'm hoping personally to see you in, in the red and white of Arsenal this season. Thank you. Yeah, um, you know, plan is to stay here and do what I can, help the team out. Um, and yeah, exactly that. Well, Let's talk about that loan last season. Uh, what did you learn uh, at Fulham? Because you were playing a slightly different position as well. Like yeah, one of my yeah. mates is a Fulham fan, and he was like, "Oh, Chambers, we'd love to have him in the team." You know, centre uh, CDM basically at Fulham, yeah, but you yeah. play centre back for us. Yeah. So, just to talk about what you learned playing CDM for Fulham. I mean, it was a great experience. Um, personally, for me, played a lot of games, um, had a lot of experience added to my under my belt. Uh, for the team, obviously, it was tough getting relegated. You know, it's never it's never nice. Um, but as I said, you know, I played 30 odd games uh, in, in a new position. Um, and I think overall, it's going to help me, you know, playing these positions and learning and learning new things. Because then, as I said, when I go back to centre half, I now know what a midfielder wants because mm. I've, I've been there, I've played there. So I think it just add things to your game, and that's exactly what last season did. Seems like you've got the uh, starting position if the last friendly was anything to go by. A lot of people always speaking about your future. Could Callum Chambers be leaving Arsenal and loan permanently? Is this, is this the time now? Is this the sort of make or break? Well, I, it's just one of those, you know. Obviously, last season was good. Um, and as I said before, I'm just going to take it game by game this season. Do what I'm asked with the coach. Um, and, yeah, just, just do everything I can, work hard and and give 100% to, to bring the best out of myself for the team. Is there something in your game that you feel you've now got that will make the difference that you perhaps didn't have before? I don't know if there's something in my game like that. You know, there's, there's a lot more detail that goes into it. It's not just going to be one thing that's going to change it. But I think over the years and, and the games I've played at different clubs and stuff, it's all experience I can sort of bring and add to my game. And that's, that's what the goal was with going out on loan and doing that and gaining experience. So hopefully I can bring that here. A lot of goodwill from the fans for you to do well here and a lot of English football fans for you to succeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, no, I feel that. I, I want to do that myself, so yeah. What's the atmosphere like among the group? It was a disappointing end to last season. You were at Fulham, obviously. You've come back in. There have also been some big signings. This is a critical moment now for Arsenal, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a big season for Arsenal. Um, I think... Um, it's an exciting one. I think, as you said, there's been some there's some good signings. We've got a great squad here. Um, you know, you've got a quality manager as well who's, who's getting his messages across um, and his philosophy. So, as I said, you know, 
it's an exciting season. We're looking forward to it. There's a good feel around the dressing room. So I think we all can't wait for it to start. How have you found him different from the last manager that you worked under here, which was Arsene Wenger? Um, obviously, every manager is different. Every manager's got different philosophies. Um, the, the detail the manager goes into is is incredible here. Um, you know, they're always sort of coaching. You know, after training, um, even during matches, to the to people on the bench. You know, they're they're showing you clips and talking you through things. So that the amount of detail they go into is immense. I wanted to get a word on the former club captain Lauren Koscielny. Obviously, he's he's left, and and you know, the way it happened was quite public. Did that affect you guys as players, or, or you know, is it just business as usual? I think you know everyone here has got a lot of respect for him. Um, I personally do. I've learned a lot from him. Um, it's a decision he's made, um, and it was between him and the club. So, you know, on my behalf, I just want him to wish him the best for the future. Also, maybe opens up the slot for you at centre half. A little secret smile there, surely. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens.